So you wish to buy iPhone 15 but then you've heard a lot of negative remarks about it, especially remarks circling around overheating of the device. Since the launch of iPhone 15, this one thing has been highly debated. Now despite Apple clarifying the reason behind the overheating, many people are still skeptical about it. So today let's talk about why this device overheats and if it can be fixed. So watch this video till the end so that you can figure out whether you should or shouldn't buy iPhone 15. So, iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max hit the shelves with a lot of excitement. But soon after, users started reporting overheating problems. Complaints ranged from the phone feeling uncomfortably warm to temperature readings spiking over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, Apple has stepped in to address these concerns and here's the scoop. It turns out it's not a design flaw. Apple confirmed that the overheating issue is linked to a software bug in the latest iOS 17. The new phone's titanium frame and aluminium structure are not the culprit. In fact, they're designed to dissipate the heat even more efficiently than the previous models. According to Apple's statement to CNET, they've identified a few conditions causing the iPhone to run warmer than expected. First off, during the initial days after setup or restoration, increased background activity can contribute to the warmth. Secondly, there's a bug in iOS 17, which they promise to address in an upcoming software update. Lastly, recent updates to certain third-party apps like Instagram, Asphalt 9 and Uber are overloading the A17 Pro chip CPU, leading to increased temperatures. This brings brings us to an interesting point. Third-party apps are playing a role in the overheating saga. Apple is collaborating with developers to roll out fixes, and Instagram has already released an updated version of its app to tackle the issue. So if you are facing the problems, be on the lookout for app updates. Apple also clarified that the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max support any USB-C adapter complaint with a USB-C standard, including USB power delivery. However, using a 20 watt or higher charger may cause temporary warming during charging as the device regulates itself to cap charging at a maximum of 27 watts. Until the iOS 17 update drops, here are a few tips if you are dealing with overheating issues. Activate low power mode from the control center or in the battery section of the settings app. This will help by killing background tasks, temporarily limiting the display's refresh rate and reducing brightness. Also, avoid exposing your phone to direct sunlight or extreme heat for extended periods. So there you have it, the iPhone 15 Pro overheating mystery unveiled. It's not a design flaw, but a combination of iOS 17 bugs and some enthusiastic third-party apps. Apple is on the case, promising a software update to tackle the issue. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay cool techies!